Okay, so here's how to import footage from your camera into Final Cut Pro 10. What I'm using here is, uh, this is a Canon camera, I'm blanking on the model number, but it's not a DSLR, it's actually a video camera, and it uses an SD card. Well, on my uh, MacBook Pro here, I've got one of the smaller MacBook Pros, it's got this slot for that card, so I've gone ahead and I've Put it in and I've launched Final Cut Pro 10. Now you'll see this icon down here that looks like a camera. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now it brings up uh, this import utility. So uh, I could choose Apple built-in eyesight but then you'd see me and let's just not go there. So what I have is I have the Canon, and you'll notice down here that I have several pieces of footage. So one thing that I've done, and this is very helpful, initially I had this uh, all the way to all, and you'll notice that these pieces are an hour 29, an hour 31, an hour 31 long, so that's really difficult to get exactly um, what you're looking for. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this down to not two seconds, that's way too much, but maybe like uh, five minutes. So now I have a much more accurate control. So if I go back here What I'm looking for is the very beginning of this. There's a actually a countdown. So this should okay, so up here. We saw that the countdown is at zero. I'm gonna hit play real quick and go back just a little bit using my arrow keys then I'll mark the end point with the letter I on my keyboard and you'll notice that this moved and now if you'll notice I can scroll super big I have the ability to get to my out point and I want to out I want my out point to be right before this guy that you see so what I'll do is go back and I know that that's the walk-up video for him. And towards the end of that. And now I press O for out, and if I clicked imported, import selected, which I'm not going to do because I actually don't want to import this footage, it would start importing just the selection. So that's basically the easy way to do it. Make sure this is the thing down here that I learned that really helped me. Now, um, this is actually a little faster than it was in Final Cut Studio importing the same footage because this isn't recorded as a QuickTime. It's recorded uh, in, I think, an MPEG-2 format, so it's transcoding. So the 32-bit, or 64-bit rather, as opposed to the old 32-bit is a little bit faster. So that's how to import footage in Final Cut Pro.